Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon at any time during the video to read more about it or to download it from the App Store. Here we go. Welcome to Lumio Kids, which is a whole heap of maths games. And these are tricky, they're tricky even for me. Now we can go from anywhere. When we first open up, we have all of everything, all topics. So here we have all the topics. Or we can generalize, specialize, sorry, and choose where we would like to start. So say we wanted to start with fractions. Let's start with juicy fractions. Introduction to fractions. Delicious denominators. And we are going to learn how to do basic fractions. Okay, we have hungry parrots. Hmm. He's dreaming about a world with all the fruit cut up into equal pieces. So let's go and cut up some fruit into equal pieces, shall we? Okay, so over here, it says equal fruit slices. Oh, so it, if this is if it's equal, so which fruit is sliced into equal sized parts, which is not? So the grapefruit is, and the orange is not. Tick. Sweet slices, there we go. A fraction is a part of a whole. Which fruits are sliced into equal sized parts? Oh, well, that one's not, and these ones are. Tick. Sweet slices. A fraction is a part of a whole. And here we have our information on the side. Plentiful parts. The number of equal parts is an important number. So let's find the equal parts. There are four equal parts in the grapefruit, six equal parts in the pineapple, two over here, and three in the orange. Fresh fourths, when one whole is divided into four equal parts, each part is called one fourth. Four one fourths make one whole. So we're going to make one whole. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bottom, bright bottom number. This tells you how many parts are in one whole. You write a fraction with a top number and a bottom number. So this is, this is one third of three, and this is one four of four. Now this goes on continually, gets more difficult. Let's go and play a different section. So look, this is as far as we've got. But there are heaps, 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 heaps more to do. But we're going to have a look at a different section. We'll continue in fractions. So we look at fruity fractions now to see what the difference is. Here we get to play with zesty fruit fractions to mix, match and make fractions. Whoop. Oh. oh, I think there was a big argument, a big argument about all the fruit. Fruity goodness, for the denominator, count the total number of parts that make the whole. So, for the numerator, count the number of fruit parts that show. So here we're choosing one or the other. Okay, one of here, and there are three out of four there. Here we have got four out of the six, and here we've got two out of the three. Here we have, oh, we have to do the top and the bottom number, so we have two filled in out of the three. Oh, and now we've got two. Now let's go back. Let's go back because there's a lot of content in this app, and I'm just going to give you a sneak peek into as much of it as I can. We're going back. All right, let's work backwards. Let's go back to division. Veggie divide. Let's do some introduction. Divide and pack the veggies into crates in time for market. Oh, well it's morning. Oh, it's, it's, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa! Tick, 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 tick. It's time to get all of these vegetables sorted. 
pack the veggies. So we need to put in, pack the veggies. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now, when you divide a group of veggies, you split them into equal groups. So, yep, yep. So we need to put the number in. So there's, we're going to divide them into equal groups. There are going to be two in each group. Pack the veggies. When you divide a group, you split them into equal parts. So six divided by two, so we've got six. We're going to put one, two, three into each. There we go. Here we go again. We're dividing six into three, so we're going to put two in each box. The answer is two. Divide them into equal groups. So we're still going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Pepper power. Okay, all right, let's go back. Back, back, back. We've had a peek in here. It's gonna get harder and harder and harder as we go on. I'm only showing you the very easiest levels here. So back to divisions. Let's look at divide and capture. Grumpy goats. Let's divide them into their goat pens. Let's use arrays for division. Okay. Can you make an array to match the division problem? Okay, six divided by two. So, no. So we need to, okay, drag. There we go. Okay, 40 divided by four. Good llama lineup. All right, let's go back. Backity back, back. Back even further. Let's go back to multiplication. Let's do mystery multiplication. The pumpkins are missing. Ooh. Hmm. Oh dear, he's not going to get any multiplying done. He's sleeping. Great harvest. How many veggies are in each group? So this is the way we started. The last question. The last one with, with division. When you want to find a total amount, you can use repeated addition. 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. 3 groups of 4 is 12. 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. 3 groups of 2 equals 6. Let's multiply. Multiplication is a shortcut for repeated addition. So, 3 times 2 equals 6. And means groups of. So we have got 5. Well, actually, we've got 3 groups of 5. Okay, let's go back, 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 back. We've had a look in the multiplication. Let's go back to the number puzzles. And let's start with, let's start with the shape sums. Mix, match and jumble the numbers from one to 20. Now I've already done some quite hard ones here. So I'm gonna show you right at the beginning and then I'm gonna show you what I'm up to so you can see the Move big the numbers so each shape adds up to the number at the top so you can see the big difference in difficulty all right so we need everything to add up to 10 so 3 plus 7 is 10 2 plus 8 1 plus 9 and the two remaining numbers 4 and 6 aye aye captain aye aye captain okay now we got three concentric circles so we need five and the three and two possibly 
and eight here and five here. Treasure quest. Treasure quest. And nine, and this one has to be one. So that one that's missing there has to be, has to, hold on. Well, that has to be a seven. Oh, six, sorry. <laughs> My brain's wandered off on holiday. So this one's going to be eight here. And that's going to be two here, and that's going to be five there. X marks the spot. Now let's go out to the menu and scroll down so you can see how tricky we can get to. And wait till you see how slowly my brain works now. So we have to add them up to 20. So if we start maybe with the biggest number and add in, let me have a look. Um, two and eight, so we need a 12 here. Six and eight is six and 11 is 17. So we need a three here. 11 and five is 16, so we need a four. Actually, that one wasn't too hard. And they all add up to 20. Ahoy, matey. But let's see what this one is. Okay, so seven and three. We're all adding up to 20, so we're gonna need a really big number in this box over here. Three and five, we're gonna need 15. And here we have two. And we're gonna need some big numbers in here, maybe three, 13, 15, five. And 14, I don't think that's going to work. That's not going to work, look. Arr! Arr! See? I made Try 10 in the first one. The shape that only needs one more number. And there's even a handy hint. Can I have the handy hint, please? So that means that one's wrong in there. So let's go back, back to the menu. And I could keep going and figuring it out. Back to the menu. Let's have some more of the number puzzles. Here are some number paths. And these are the pirates. The pirates are. Move the numbers so each line equals the correct number. Okay. Add across each treasure path. Okay, so it starts reasonably easy, but then you have to start adding up and down as it goes on. Shiver me timbers! Add across and down each treasure path. So they have to add up each way. And then, aye, aye, let's Captain. go back to the menu where I was up to playing it, wherever there that is here. You have to be able to add one way and subtract the other way. Add across and subtract down. Yep, see that's gonna do my poor old brain in. Let's go back and have a look at one more thing. Back, back. Let's have a look at fix-it digits. There are lots, lots of things here in the number puzzles. So you can do place values with three digit numbers. Okay. Let's, let's go from the hardest one that I'm up to because it starts breaking it all down and adding things up. All right, so if we slide up the hundreds to, they're both 300, and see that little flame, we need to make that in the tens, and that little drop, we need to make that in the twos, and then they're gonna add across to something else. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So this gives you an idea of what's in here and the quality that's in here. There's an enormous amount of com content in the Lumio Kids app, so have a look at the free content, and if you really love it, then subscribe by all means. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day, and the best giveaways.